Good afternoon, I'm meteorologist Michelle Muscatello. Been a nice change to see some sunshine for today, but the dry weather kind of short-lived. We've got a winter weather advisory that's in effect from 11 o'clock tonight, just in the northwest corner of the state and points uh, north and west of that. It's from 11 o'clock tonight until Thursday morning. No trouble for the rest of this afternoon. It's as we approach midnight and beyond that we'll get a little brief period of wintry weather. We're talking wet snow and some sleep, most of which gonna melt as it hits any pavement. Again, that change over to rain happens quickly for areas from Providence and down to the coastline. In fact, all rain at the coastline, but inland further north and west you get the longer it lasts. That's this system that's heading our way from the uh, deep south. That'll be pushing to the west of us during the daytime tomorrow and bringing with it more rain. And again, it's just cold enough to start off with some wintry weather for our region. Let's take a look at 4 o'clock this afternoon. No weather-related issues, even at 11 o'clock. Most spots are dry. It's in western Connecticut and Long Island that we're starting to see that uh, wintry weather and rainfall moving in. So it's a mix. Rain at the coastline, then notice inland areas, 2 o'clock in the morning. Some wet snow and possibly some sleet. As the temperatures warm, most spots will change over to rainfall by about 4 o'clock in the morning. So that's long before the heart of the morning commute. It's rain and potentially some heavier downpours that we will be watching for Thursday morning's drive into work. Even up to Boston and Worcester, most spots by 7 a.m. have changed over to just plain rain. We will have to watch for some freezing rain further inland. And then snow in northern New England, another three to six inch snow event for them. That's good news leading up to President's Day weekend. Any showers for our region tapering off late in the day, and we're going to get back to some drier, cooler weather for Friday. Let's talk about Thursday tonight in more detail. So this is at midnight. Notice the temperatures initially close to 40 degrees. As the night goes on, we'll cool, but still even there, mid 30s in Providence, upper 30s at the coastline, low 30s in Smithfield, Burrowville and Foster, and those temperatures starting to climb before even the sun comes up. So 6 a.m. temperatures, most spots are well up above freezing. This is just rain, but a chilly rain in Smithfield and then potentially some icy spots in Foster, Gloucester and Burrowville. Nine o'clock in the morning, we're back up to around 40 degrees. So we're not talking much, but a slushy coating possible away from the coastline, north and western areas, best chance of seeing that slushy coating on the grass, it ends up getting washed away. As you head into central and western Massachusetts, one to two inches of snow a possibility. Then it's cold and dry for Friday and the start of the President's Day weekend. We'll warm back up after a chilly start Saturday morning to the low 30s Saturday afternoon and 40s by Sunday and President's Day. You can get all of that on the detailed weather page on WPRI.com.